Hello guys and welcome to the channel and today I'm going to quickly show you how to work with adjustment layer in Adobe Premiere Pro. This will help you easily adjust color, do some color correction to your footage without having to change actual footage itself. So in case you want to just go back and just delete everything that you did, you can just remove that adjustment layer and it's going to go back to the same settings. So it's going to save you a lot of time. So without further ado, let's go get started. Okay, so there we go. We got this Adobe Premiere opened up here and you see I got this project here. It's all ready to go. And the next step I want to do is I want to do some color correction. But you see there is a whole bunch of different files I had to cut. So if I go ahead and just adjust one at a time, this will take me a long, long time to do that. So instead of doing that, and we just want to go ahead and add what's called an adjustment layer. So to add adjustment layer, you have to go to this window up here to the media browser. And if it's not available here, you just got to make it a little bit bigger here. And as you can see, there is a few icons on the bottom. You just want to go ahead and click this add item. And right where it says adjustment layer, just click on it. And then it will create a layer that has exactly the same properties as your sequence settings. Like right now I have it's a 4K at 24 frames per second so it's going to create it with the exact same settings let's go ahead and click ok and as you can see here it created this layer over here so now what we want to do we just want to go ahead and drag this layer into our footage into let's say the video track number two you can drag it into video track number three you just gotta drag it above the footage that you want to be color correcting or adjusting so let's go ahead and just um, make this uh, project smaller and then you can just drag it and extend it for the full for the whole footage so let's just go ahead and make it even smaller as you can see I got this project here it's fairly long but we want to correct the whole footage as you can see I got this uh, adjustment layer stretched out to the whole project and now we can just go ahead and maximize it and let's go ahead and choose this adjustment layer right now and go to the color correct so right now when we're going to be working on this color correct, you see that this adjustment layer is chosen. So anything that we're going to be applying for this picture that we got in the preview window or the project window is going to be affecting that adjustment layer. It's not going to be affecting your footage or the tracks that you have on a timeline. So let's go ahead and try to adjust and make this picture a little bit better. What I like to do is you can play with temperature and do a little bit of contrast lower the highlights get some blacks so as you can see here we got some kind of adjustment made up i mean it's not the uh, perfect adjustments but if you turn off this you can see the difference it actually made it a little bit worse i agree i'll definitely change that i don't like the way it looks but just to show you guys this is we did all this on the adjustment layer so if we go back to edit in here you can see that all the files that we have on the timeline it has that same look it has all the same across the board so it will be looking exactly the same and if you don't like it you just go ahead and delete the adjustment layer and go back to normal so all the footage is going to be the same so this is really good when you're working on your project but you don't want to be changing every single track and trying to change colors and stuff and applying the FX to it. You can just apply the changes to the adjustment layer and have it all saved like that. So I hope you guys find this helpful. And if you do, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and click the notification bell so you didn't miss new videos. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave in the comment section below. I'll be really happy to help you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.